there are so many different kinds of bugs in the world. Bugs come in all shapes, colors, and sizes. Oh, hi, my name is B, like the letter B. And this, this is Mr. Butterfly. And we're reading a book. Do you know what color this book is? That's right, it's purple. Well, we are waiting for our friend Meta to wake up from his nap. Do you know who Meta is? Meta is a brown bear that lives in this forest. I have an idea. Why don't we wake Meta up from his nap and together we can learn about bugs. Meta, are you up from your nap? Where are you, Meta? Oh, it's Meta. Did you have a good nap? Yes. Hey, listen, we have a lot of friends here today, and together we are going to learn about bugs. Do you want to do that? Yes? Okay. Oh, do you hear that? No? Listen harder. Do you hear that? It's the idea train. Ooh, Meta, look what's in the box. All right, so we'll put the box over here. Thank you, idea train. All right. Oh. Hmm. What is this? Meta, look through that. Do you know what this is? That's right, it's a magnifying glass. And do you know what a magnifying glass does? Yes, it makes objects look big. So when you look through the glass, you can see things really big. <laughs> I have an idea. Why don't we use the magnifying glass to look for all the different bugs in the forest. Should we do that? Yeah? Okay, let's get started. Hmm. Oh, Meta! There is a caterpillar right in front of you. Do you see that? Oh, there he is. Whoa. Take a look. Whoa. Did you know, Meta, that the main job of a caterpillar is to eat? That's right! A caterpillar has to eat a lot of food so that the caterpillar has enough energy to turn into a butterfly. That's right, Meta. A caterpillar transforms into a butterfly. Okay. Hmm. What other bugs can we find? <gasps> Do you see a crawling spider right over there? Yeah? <gasps> Here it is. <laughs> Spiders have eight legs. You know, spiders, they keep to themselves and they make spider webs. Have you seen a spider web? You have? <gasps> have you, Meta? Yeah, so have I. All right, we'll put this guy back. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's continue to look. Oh, <gasps> Meta, I see a line of marching ants. Do you see the ants? That's right, Meta, they're right in front of you. Yes, here, I'll grab this guy right here. Whoa, whoa. An ant is very, 
very strong. An ant can carry up to 10 to 50 times their body weight. Whoa, that's a lot of weight, huh? And did you know that an ant uses vibrations to feel around and to find food? Oh, okay. Bye, little ant. All right, let's keep looking. Hmm, what are we going to... Oh, Meta! There's a dragonfly right over there. Whoa, here. Whoa, take a look at that dragonfly. Dragonflies are really, here, take a look again, Meta. Dragonflies are really good flyers. They can fly up. They can fly down. They can even hover mid-air like a helicopter. And a dragonfly has a really big eye on their head. So they can see really, really well. All right. What other bugs can we find with our magnifying glass? Oh, Mita! I see a orange centipede right in front of you. Oh, it's right there. Ooh. Ooh. Centipedes have really long segmented bodies. Their bodies can sometimes range up to 12 inches long. Whoa, that's really, really long. They have anywhere from 15 to 177 pairs of legs. Oh, their legs are long and thin so they can move really fast. Ooh, all right, let's continue to look for bugs. Hmm. Oh, do you see a butterfly? Meta, do you see a butterfly? It's Mr. Butterfly. Oh, hi, Mr. Butterfly. Oh, whoa. And you get to look. Whoa. Mr. Butterfly, how are you doing today? Good? Yeah? All right. Did you know that butterflies taste with their feet? Oh, isn't that silly? That's a fun fact. And, as we talked about before, a butterfly comes from a caterpillar. Did you also know, Meta, that a butterfly's wings are clear? That's right! They have little tiny scales on their wings that reflect light. So all the colors and shapes that we see are actually reflections of light. Well, that is very interesting. Okay, let's put the butterfly right back there. And... <gasps> Meta, I see a beetle. Look at this big beetle. Ba-boom, 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 ba-boom. Wow. Ba-boom, 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 ba-boom. Beetles usually have two wings and they can't see very well. So, they use a sense of smell and vibrations, like ants, to find food and feel their way around. Isn't that interesting? All right. Ba-boom, 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 boom, boom. There you go, little beetle. All right, let's continue to look for more bugs. Oh, do you see a housefly? Do you, Meta? That's right. The house flies over here on the train track. Whoa. Look at that house fly. Ooh. Here you go. House flies are really good flyers. A house fly can see in front of them. It can see the sides of them and they can see in back of them. Oh, that's
That's right, a housefly can see all the way around. They have a 360 degree view of vision. Wow, that's pretty neat. All right, let's continue to look for our bugs. Oh, Mata, there's a grasshopper in front of you on the rock over there. Oh, a boing, a boing, a boing. Whoa, look at this grasshopper. Did you look? Whoa. A grasshopper is a really good flyer and a really good jumper. They also make some interesting noises too by rubbing their hind leg against their forewing. <gasps> have you heard a grasshopper at night? You have? Mita, have you heard a grasshopper at night? Yeah? Well, so have I. <gasps> boing, 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 boing. Okay, let's continue to search for some bugs. <gasps> Do you see a ladybug? That's right, right in front of Mita. <gasps> Look at this ladybug. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Look at that ladybug. Whoa. <gasps> I'm sure if you've seen a ladybug, you've seen a ladybug just like this one with red and black colors. But did you know that a ladybug can come in all colors of the rainbow? Wow, that is pretty, pretty neat. All right, let's put this little ladybug back. Let's keep looking, Mata. Whoa, Mata! Right in front of me is a honeybee. Buzz, 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 buzz. Whoa, whoa! Look at that honeybee, Mata. Buzz, 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 buzz. Honeybees are really important because they help other plants grow by pollinating fruits and vegetables and flowers. And they make honey. That's right, honeybees make honey. They live in hives, or you can call them colonies. And honeybees are really good flyers. They can flap their wings up to 200 times a second. Wow, that is a lot of flaps. Bzz, bzz. You know what time it is? It's time to dance. This is where we stop what we're doing, stand up, and dance. You can do whatever dance move you feel like doing. <gasps> it's the idea train. <gasps> it's Pinky the Boom Box. Hi, Pinky the Boom Box. All right. Thank you, Idea Train. Pinky the Boombox plays our music. We take this golden cassette tape and put it in here and close it. And we push the button with the triangle on it, the play button. Are you ready to dance? Yes. I'm going to push the button now. Whoa, that was a lot of fun. Okay, let's get back to what we were doing. Okay. Let's keep looking for more bugs. Mata, I see a praying mantis right over there on that rock. Do you see that praying mantis? <gasps> wow, look at this guy. Boing, boing, boing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Whoa. A 
praying mantis is very agile. It can jump from one limb to another limb of a tree and it can bounce, kind of like a kitty cat. And some people think a praying mantis is very, very smart. Hmm. Wow, we sure did find a lot of bugs, didn't we, Meta? Did you have fun looking for all those bugs? You did? Parents, if your kids like the video, please subscribe. And until next time, bye!